What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I f***ed up big time. If you guys saw my recent video of the worst experience taking window tint off of all time, I did get this uh, letter in the mail here later on saying amount due without correction. So yes, you read that correctly. I did everything all for no reason when I could have just paid $150 more and left the window tint on. Yeah, f*** me, right? Check that video out if you guys haven't seen it. I'm gonna put a link here. But putting that all aside, let's go for a drive. Talk about the new mid-engined Corvette. Get my 70s pimp glasses on, and now we're ready for vlogging. All right, guys, you saw the title of the video. No, this is not clickbait. I'm being 100% serious, and the reason why is because there is some new news out about the C8 mid-engine Corvette. So let's go ahead and talk about it in my car here while I'm driving on the way to the gym. Oh! There has been some new and exciting breaking news about the C8 mid-engine Corvette here that came out recently. You know, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if it's true or false or what the deal is, but I'll tell you what, it gets my car boner going. I'm really excited for it. The reason why is because there's some new information about the potential pricing of the C8 Corvette. And to me, it actually makes a lot of sense on how they're gonna do it. So a lot of people, when rumors came out about the C8, that it's gonna be some $130,000 supercar, a lot of people were kind of outraged about that because the Corvette has always kind of been, you know, the working man's supercar. Uh, but recently, there's some information that a couple of sources have actually leaked that the C8 is going to start around 70,000, 80,000. I've seen a couple articles around both of those areas. Um, $80,000, $70,000 is going to start there. Um, and that, to be honest, that would be awesome as a platform, as the base model Corvette. And here is exactly why that would actually make sense. So the Stingray as a model, the C7 Corvette, starts at 55,000 MSRP. Now, can you find many of those out there at a base 55,000 um, when they first came out? Not really, but that's just the MSRP that they call it of where a car would be starting at. Now, I'm gonna ask you guys, do you think that it would be reasonable for a mid-engine CA, just the base model, which they're saying is gonna be just the same engine as this car, so the 6.2 liter V8, um, making somewhere between five and 600 horsepower there, adding 15 to $25,000, do we think that that is reasonable as an added base price there from the Stingray to a mid-engine? I don't know what kind of all extra parts go into a mid-engine uh, Corvette versus a Stingray now, but does that seem reasonable? An extra 25 grand for the base model. Corvette recently has always had three models, the base model, the Z06, and then the ZR1. Now, they just released the ZR1 for 2019, and that's what a lot of people thought that the C8 was gonna be, was just a one-off ZR1 or Zora car, as they were calling it from the founder of the Corvette. But now that they released the ZR1, it's safe to say that the C8 is could just be a whole new platform to which they'll go ahead and make those same three models. The information that's been leaked is kind of matches up with that. They're saying that the base model is gonna be this 6.2 liter V8 here, making five to 600 horsepower. The additional two models that have come out in a lot of CAD drawings that you guys may have seen online, some leaked information, is that there's gonna be two more engines. One is a 4.2 liter V8, and one is a 5.5 liter V8, both which will probably be the rumored dual overhead cams, twin turboed. Now, one of them is probably going to be the Z06, probably somewhere 7 to 800 horsepower. They may step it up and do a ZR1 on the C8 platform of the 4.2 liter, and there's actually some rumors that it could be a hybrid with up to 1,000 horsepower. 
Now that would be completely insane. That would be basically hypercar territory that we're talking about that GM would be going after. Who knows if that's the case? But again, it makes sense because they'd have a base model, a Z06, and then a ZR1, which is the crazy track model with lots and lots of horsepower. So that's awesome to hear. That means that the base model could actually be affordable for people like us. If the C8 does come out for around seventy to eighty thousand dollars. I am putting it on the record right now. I will be buying one. My goal, basically, between now and then, which we probably have at least a couple years, is just buy enough real estate to have rental income coming in. Between now and then, I'm going to invest all of my money into passive income real estate, so that way I have money coming in each month. And hopefully by the time the C8 comes out, I'll just trade in this Camaro here as the down payment. I'll go ahead and just use that rental income to just make the car payment each month. I get a C8 mid-engine Corvette. Nothing in my life changes. I'm not taking any money out of pocket. And my investments make it for me. Sounds like a pretty good plan to me. By the way, if anybody has interest about those types of things, real estate investing, um, rental income, investments, things like that, um, let me know if you'd like to hear some more information on that. Those are things that I'm just now getting into to be able to get myself income for the future. Great news. If that's the case, that is so exciting. Again, it'll stay the working man's supercar, or at least reasonable, you know, seven to 80,000, that's what the, the current price of the Z06 is. But for a mid-engine, I could see that being actually reasonable. Give me a thumbs up if you guys would like to see me get a C8 Corvette and subscribe to stay tuned for all that exciting stuff coming here in the future. I'll catch you guys next time.